at 6, St. Anthony's School in Oconto Falls reopens nearly a year and a half after an arsonist destroyed the school. Today, teachers and community members are moving in, getting classrooms set up for students to return in the fall. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval is live in the newsroom now with more. Stacy, there's been months of renovation and millions of dollars, but parishioners say nothing overshadows the community support to get this school going again. The construction finally finishing up. Now we're coming back home. St. Anthony's is home for James Moynihan. He went to school here, his nine kids and grandkids, even his father a hundred years ago. The arson was devastating for him. Violated. That's what you feel when you go through something like that. Somebody breaks in your home or something like that. You feel that you've been violated. But after coming here to work on the school for months, today he can Support show us. Biggest part of the fire was. A brand new building, renovated from top to bottom. The old shell is still here, but the inside of the building is completely renovated. New classrooms, library, computer lab, and an elevator. Right, another box down. Looking back. A bad thing that turned into a great thing. Bringing the community closer together, everyone stepping up, donating money, the use of buildings, and their support. That building came about because of the efforts of a lot of people here in the parish and in the parish community. To make sure St. Anthony's is ready for students in September. Now the estimated cost for renovations at the school is around $2.7 million. Cassandra Duval, NBC 26.